orchestrated backup failures. And so obviously the first thing to do is double click that on the status and it gives you some information about why possibly that the backup failed. Here we did an operation stopped. We can look under the errors and you can see that this was actually stopped by the by the operators. This is pretty clear and this is not always the kind of error message you'll get. So here's a error, a warning. It completed with warning and we can see that again it gives us the information about the backup and it also tells us that it completed with warnings. We go into the errors tab and it says unknown error. Wonderful. We just love that kind of information. But this is kind of the information you're going to get in the backup failure section. So let me drive you around and show you some of the under the hood tools that you can use to help diagnose your backups. And in many cases you're going to bring a senior TSR to give you a hand at some point. But let's start by first understanding some of the services that are so critical with backup. And that service right there, Volume Shadow Copy, is also known as VSS, is the major, major technology behind the scenes that makes all of the backup work. If anything is not functioning in VSS, all backups are going to come to a halt. This service is very critical. It is probably the most important technology under the hood that makes backup work. Pay attention to the normal setup the normal startup type. Also look at the function and proper operation of volume shadow copy because anything goes wrong with this you're going to have issues. The next area that we're going to look at is under the diagnostic tab under server manager. You can see that it opens up the event viewer, the performance tools, the device manager. We're going to focus on event viewer. I've opened it up already. There's a lot of changes in this tool. Event Viewer has a lot of functionality has been added in the 2008-2008 R2 and so let me kind of walk you through some of the things you can do and better understand Event Viewer as, as it relates to troubleshooting backups. Let's first begin by starting with the Windows logs. Some, this is some of the basic log files that we saw in the old Event Viewer in 2003. You can choose application and this is typically where you're going to see things like backup events. So you can come in, take a look, you can look at, you can sort by sources, you can sort by date and time, you can just scroll through and take a look and actually look at the different events. If you want to look at backup events, you can go ahead and come to the source tab and sort it alphabetically and then come up, scroll down here and actually find Actually, I went past it. Some of the backup events that you can see here and you can just scroll down at your leisure and look at your backup events. So here's a backup that had a warning. Let's open it up and take a look and you can see that it gives us additional information. What we didn't see in our, our Windows, the Windows Server backup snap in, we do see more information here in the event viewer. So as we saw that one that gave us an unknown error, we actually get more specific information. Here it says it failed to back up volumes E. We get a little bit more information, so this is where you want to go. You want to go to Event Viewer. Because VSS plays such a critical role in backup, another event that you're going to watch for, as, as well as the backup event, is VSS. If there is a failure in VSS, it's probably going to affect backup. So these are two source events that you will want to keep your eyes out on in terms of warnings or failures in your event logs. So you want to check those, especially if you've had a backup failure. There's some additional areas. Let's go into applications and service logs. Let's open this up. We're going to choose the Microsoft logs. We're going to open the windows and we're going to drill down into the backup. And this is another location where all of the backup events are stored. So this is a quicker way to get to just the, the, the events that you're interested in. So notice I clicked on, I've opened up the backup event folder. I have clicked on the operational, right? You can see now all the information all in one dialog box. So this allows me to quickly peruse through errors, warnings, information 
about all the backups that have taken place. So this is probably a quicker way to get in there and take a look at what's happening with backup. Here I've double clicked on one of the warnings and it says the backup storage location is running low on free space. Future backup or op operations that store backup on this location may fail because not enough space. So that is some information that would might be helpful in troubleshooting your backups. So let's review quickly some of the troubleshooting steps. Obviously from the status panel of your Windows Server Backup Snap-in, you can see some information about failures, errors, etc. Sometimes that is not very helpful as we saw. You can always go to Diagnostics tab in Server Manager, come down to Windows Logs, go to Applications, and again you can sor search for Source um, under the Source tab. You can look up Backups also look at VSS, see is there any issues there. We can drill down to just the backup issues by going into application service logs, open up Microsoft, open up Windows, go to the backup, open that, click on the operational, and that gives us a lot, of a lot more information under the hood about what is wrong. Also, make sure you look at the basics. Go to disk management, Take a look at the volume you've dedicated to backup. Make sure it's healthy. Make sure it's, that there's not an issue with the backup device itself. As you look at your problems and you see that it's beyond what you feel like you can fix, uh, then that's where you would bring your senior TSR in your area and have them help you and assist you with troubleshooting the problem. I'd like to begin to show you a quick way to test your backups that is doesn't cost you a lot of time per week, easy to do, and it's relatively effective and give you an assurance that your backup is going. First thing I like to do is pick a volume onto the server. You can do it on the C drive, on the D drive, what, wherever it makes sense. And I just create a folder called Backup Test. That's all I do. Every, every server in our environment has a folder called Backup Test. And in it, I put document, a text, anything, just whatever. In this case, we had a little sense of humor. So we just put a picture there. And that's what we're going to use, this, this very, very small 14K picture. We're going to use it as our recovery, is our, is our method to te quickly test the backup. Got a file in the backup test folder, and we're going to use this to test our restores. So here we go. I can see last night I had a successful backup. So I go back to my test folder, and I take this picture, and I simply delete it. And it's gone. Now I go back to my Windows Server Backup Snap-in, and I go to Recovery. This only takes a few minutes. And I'm going to recover the server and go Next. And I'm going to go back to the 12th, yesterday's backup. And I can do this once a week. Build a habitual day that you do this. And you just make it a priority, first thing that I do in that day. And that way it won't, go, it won't get put off and it'll always get done. So I'm going to go next. I'm going to choose and I'm going to restore files and folders. What this does is makes us go back and do the entire restore process. Testing everything. The backup drive. The recovery utilities. Did backup really work? Everything gets tested in this simple, quick test. So I'm going to go up here to the XMART, open up C drive, go to the backup test, and I'm going to, and I can see my picture in there, I'm going to just click, I'm going to open that up and just highlight the one picture. Say next, original location, uh, overwrite the existing version if it was, restore the access list permissions, and recover and I'm dragging this out I mean I'm trying to do a video for you but this could have this could happen in five minutes or less and we're gonna walk through we're gonna see that it copied it's complete we go back to we can see our recovery process was good and in less than five minutes I've tested and have some sense of satisfaction that Backup is working fine, and my ability to recover, I have confidence in that. So this simple test is a good test to test your backups at least once a week.